Hello everyone, my name is Liana and we are here today to practice and learn more about pranayama or short breathing exercises that we could use in our daily life to boost our immune system, release all of these stresses and give us energy for whole day. So I have picked two pranayamas that we're going to do today. They do not take much time. You could take starting from five minutes a day to 30 minutes if you wish so. And first pranayama is um, Kapalabhati or fire breath. As the name says, it's a very powerful pranayama and it could be also very dangerous for people with severe heart diseases or vessel problems or high pressure. So it's best to get an advice from your healthcare provider if you could use it on a regular basis. But today's exercises or today's video is not meant to dive you too deep into practice, so it'll be safe to try it with us today. Um, if you feel lightheaded, just pause, take your time, breath in and out, and join us whenever you feel better, whenever you feel comfortable. So why do we need such a dangerous pranayama if it could bring us so much harm? Well, first of all, it's just a very powerful powerful, powerful, powerful pranayama, depending on how you do it too. Um, it shoots up oxygen in our brain, as well as to all of our organs and tissues. Um, it releases toxins from our lungs and blood vessels. It activates our immune system, boosts it. And um, well, you could read about all of the benefits, medical benefits from it. There are a large number of them online. Just Google Kapalapati Pranayama. Um, and we'll be doing it mostly to um, activate our immune system and fill us up with energy for whole day. To do everything we want to do. <laughs> um, so how do we do this practice? Our hands will be in Yam Mudra, which is index finger and large finger touching. And you just place your palms on your thighs comfortably find your seat, lengthen your spine. Um, on exhales, we will be contracting our lower abdomen uh, and we'll be shooting out the air. Um, so it's a short and very explosive exhale. It will sound like And then on inhale, we just release our contraction and our lungs will suck in the air automatically. So you shouldn't put any pressure into inhale. It'll just happen automatically, almost without sound. Um, let's try and do it for one minute. If you're new, um, it's recommended to do it from one minute to three minute to start. And then whenever you feel comfortable, you could increase that number. Let's just try and do it for one minute and see if we can do it or can't do it and how do you feel after it. Again, if you feel lightheaded or anything, just stop, take a pause, breathe, and you'll be welcome to join us whenever you feel better. Let's start with a few inhalations, a few cleansing breaths. Let's inhale and exhale out of our belly. You may invite your eyes to close if you haven't done so or have a soft gaze. You may choose to direct your gaze at your Ajna Chakra or Brow Chakra. Concentrate all of your energy there, all of your thoughts. One last breath in, out, and one next inhale, let's start.
big inhale and hold your breath for as long as you can. If it's 20 seconds, amazing. 30 seconds, amazing. And whenever you feel you're done, release your breath. Take a couple of more breaths into your belly and exhale. Now try to see how you feel after it. Mm, for me, all of the colors outside and outside world usually brightens up. <laughs> so I really like this pranayama. You can also again choose your own rhythm and your own pace. Do whatever you feel comfortable with. It could go like <laughs> or. Every day can be different for you. However, if you like today, do that. And we're going to our second pranayama, which is an alone vilom. Um, it is a very balancing, very calming, very grounding, exactly what we need after such a powerful pranayama. Um, it is used to tone up our lungs, heart, and vessels, um, and it strengthens our heart and lungs too. Calms us down, grounds, balances, um, everything we need right now. It suits to most of the people and most of the people love doing it because it's such a calming exercise. Um, our hands, again, left hand, you could put it in Gyan Mudra um, and put it to rest on your thigh. Now with right hand, our index finger and uh, middle finger, we will put it in our arm. And now we have Vishnu Mudra. Vishnu Mudra will help us to uh, close our nostrils. So with thumb, we'll be closing our right nostril. Then with this two fingers, those two fingers, we'll be closing our left nostril. It's again nostril breath. Uh, you use your diaphragm to breathe. And we will use ratio one to one at the beginning, but as you get more advanced in your practice, it could be one to two, then you add pauses, so it could be one, two, four. Um, just there, there, there are lots of opportunities there to grow. Um, let's start on the count of four uh, because I believe everyone can do four. Uh, so let's do one try cycle. With our right thumb, let's close our right nostril. We inhale with our left nostril. So inhale, close your nose, open right nostril and exhale. Inhale with right, close the right nostril, open the left nostril, exhale. That was one cycle. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale end of first cycle. Let's do 12 cycles for the beginning because I think that's the minimum number that we should start from. And then you could make it 24 and so on. Just add 12 each time. Mm. Again, find yourself comfortably seated. Your left arm in Gyan Mudra, this one in Vishnu Mudra. Lengthen your spine. Take a couple of breaths in and out. Soften the gaze, direct your gaze at your Ajna or brow chakra. With your right thumb, let's close our right nostril. Inhale on the count of four from your left nostril. Inhale left, one, two, three, four. Close your nostrils, open right one. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, right nostril, one, two, three, four. Exhale through left nostril, one, two, three, four. Inhale through left nostril, one, two, three, four. Exhale, right, one, two, three, four. Inhale, right, one, two, three, four. Exhale, left, one, two, three, four. Now let's do it together.
inhale from up. Inhale from both nostrils and hold your breath for as long as you can. you're ready, you may exhale. Take a few breaths in your belly. Try to pay attention to how you feel now after this exercise. Is it calming? Are you balanced? Was it difficult? What was difficult? <laughs> Give yourself a feedback how you feel about it. So last tip I want to give you is how to count cycles when you do um, an uloma, uloma breath. So we use our phalanges of our left hand for that. We start with our pinky finger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it'll be 12 whole circle, then 24 circle, and so on. You count it with your big finger. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And again, from the beginning, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12. 9, 12. <laughs> That's how math goes. <laughs> Thank you very much for practicing with me today. It was wonderful having you. Namaste.